everybody. Welcome back. And today I'm just going to do another, um, I've been kind of on a foundation kick lately, but I'm going to do another review and demo, just sharing my thoughts with you on a foundation that's not really new. It's been out maybe about six months or so. Um, but I, the reason why I wanted to go over it is over it is because I mentioned it in my review and demo of the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation, which I wasn't completely in love with, but this product I absolutely love and I just wanted to share it with you because um, it is a little bit cheaper and that is the uh, Cover Girl, or sorry, Wet n Wild Cover All Cream Foundation and Pressed Powder. Um, I'm going to share my thoughts with you um, on this stuff. Um, towards the end of the video but right now what I want to do is just kind of show you how I put it on and what it looks like so as you can see right now I don't have any makeup on my face I got this going on and this going on and this going on I got all kinds of crazy stuff so and I'm not using any primer today what I'm doing is I just put my moisturizer on and let it set because I want you to just get a really good idea of what this is like so in my foundation and I'm just going to read you the back of it right now all day wear it says uh, wet and wild all day wear medium to full coverage lightweight satin matte finish it is a bright complex reduces the appearance reduces the appearance of wrinkles and rejuvenates skin and I am in the shade fair light um, and then in the powder, um, I am in the shade light medium. And again, it says all day wear, radiant weightless finish, Visibrite complex reduces the appearance of wrinkles and rejuvenates skin. Again, I don't know what Visibrite is, but you know, hey, whatever. Uh, let's jump right into it. So I'm just going to show you how I apply it. You can do this. It is thick enough. It's kind of like almost like the Revlon Color Stay. It's a little bit more on the thick side, the Super Stay from Maybelline. But I'm going to go at, so you could use your beauty blender. I'm going to go ahead and use my BR110 brush, which is from Coastal Scents. Of, I have like five of these. This is my favorite foundation brush right now. Super soft. Love it. Just works amazingly well. But I'm going to take a little bit and put it right back on my hand. So again, this is medium to full coverage. So it is buildable. You can see that it is, it is not goop, uh, like moussey but it, it, and it's not runny. It's like right in between. It is a really just nice cream consistency. So I'm going to take that, just dot it all over my face, and then I'm going to start buffing it in. And what I notice as I'm buffing this in is that it's very easy to work with. It buffs in really well. Um, doesn't get streaky. There's no lines. It just kind of, probably shouldn't be talking while I'm doing this. It just settles right, or not settles, but it just kind of melts right into your skin. It's gorgeous. So that is after just one layer of makeup on. Um, you can still kind of see my blemishes. They aren't completely gone. Um, you can still see my freckles, but it does, has evened out my skin extremely, you know, to, to, to where it was. Um, you don't really see the red spots. You don't see all of the discoloration. It's pretty much evened out. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with a little bit more and I'm just going to kind of add another layer on where I feel I need some more coverage. And with that, I'm going to take a little bit more and I'm going to start dotting it on. And I am going to use this kind of just to conceal underneath my eyes and brighten my eyes up. I'm going to do that just with my fingers. I have a little redness, guys. I was out in the sun. Apparently I did not wear enough sunscreen. Shame on me. I know it's terrible. For the concealer part, or as a concealer, what I'm going to do is just, I just dabbed it on and I'm just going to push it into the skin with my ring finger. And just to kind of brighten up the areas underneath my eyes. Which is nice because it's kind of a nice one step product for that. It's not going to work as well as, you know, some of the other concealers that I normally use, but for the purpose. Like just a one-step treatment. It's not bad at all. I'm just going to kind of go over these um, with my fingers briefly, and I'm just going to stipple it in, and again, just blend it out with my brush. I mean, my mirror here. All right, so that's what it looks like after I've built it up. So you can build it up to a relatively full coverage. I do believe it is satin matte. It's not tacky on the skin. It feels nice and soft on the skin. You, it's not completely matte, but it's not dewy. Um, it's just kind of a natural finish on the skin, which I absolutely love. And again, I kind of used it to conceal a little bit. It's not perfect, but for if you're in a rush um, and don't want to pull out a bunch of products, it can definitely work 
in that respect because it's got the same consistency as a lot of concealers that I use um, for underneath the eye. And it doesn't, as I'm looking, it doesn't really settle into the wrinkles underneath my eyes. Um, so moving on, what I'm going to do is just to complete the coverage is go in with my powder. And again, I'm in light medium. Now this powder is awesome. You get uh, 0.26 ounces. It's extremely soft. It's an extremely soft powder and it um, just feels amazing on the skin. You get a lot of product in here and it does add a little bit of extra coverage. So I'm just going to go in with my EcoTools um, Retractable Kabuki Brush and just start setting my makeup. Again, I'm going to stipple it on first, and then I'm going to just lightly buff it out. I don't want to move the foundation. I want to set it, but I also don't want to look cake face. I've got a nice full coverage foundation without it being cakey or feeling heavy on the skin. It feels very nice on the skin. So that was the application. I'm going to go back, put on the rest of my makeup, and I'll be right back. All right, everybody. So I finished putting on my makeup. And by the way, if you like this eye look, this is going to be in my new... Um, like Too Faced July, Christmas in July series that I was doing to kind of maybe get you to rotate your, your Christmas palettes that you were so excited in back into your collection. But anyway, um, topic, but I'll link that down below if you like this look. Um, but yeah, so this is the finished product with that, um, the coverall, um, from Wet Mall. I think it is a fantastic product. It's beautiful. I love the finish on it. I love the way it wears. When I wear this, it lasts on me literally all day long, you know, eight, nine hours, and I don't have a problem with it. And again, I am not oily. So makeup, my foundation tends to last a little bit longer on me. Um, but I can use this with a primer. I can use it with a silicone based primer, with a lotion based primer. I can use it with just moisturizer and I love it. I think it, it allows my skin to breathe. It feels soft. It's wonderful. Um, again, the powder is, I mean, you know, the packaging, is it fantastic? No. Are you going to pay three, four dollars for it? Yeah. Heck yeah. So, um, again, the, the downsides for this product is that the shade range is not great. Um, this is a really good match for me. Um, the fair, the light, it really works for me. Um, it's a little bit dark during the winter time, but right now what, when I've got a little bit of sun works out just awesome. And I've been reaching for this a lot more. The powder guys, the powder is so soft. It's wonderful. It's pigmented. It's add, you know, adds just color without being cakey. I mean, I just, I can't say enough about these products. And I know I talk about wet and wild all the time. And the reason is, is for the most part, I mean, of course, every line is going to have hits and misses, but for the most part, wet and wild produces some really, really wonderful quality products that are just accessible um, and available to everybody. So, and I, I think that yes, high end stuff is so much fun and it's wonderful and it's wonderful to have your luxury products. But for those of us who don't, you know, maybe you want to spend the money on the luxury products or don't have the ability to spend the money on the luxury products. No, you can get the same great quality um, from some of the best, you know, some of the least known things in the drugstore. So I really do like this foundation. I definitely recommend it. I recommend it over the, you know, if you are normal, dry combination skin, I probably recommend this over the CoverGirl Ready Set, found, um, Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. I just think it is a wonderful product. I think it's a beautiful finish. It's very comp comparable in the finish, but it doesn't leave me feeling cakey or gross. So I hope this demo review was helpful for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you did, um, hit that like button, subscribe, you know, questions, comments. I'd love to talk to you guys, but y'all have a rocking week. Um, you know, keep doing what you're doing and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.